guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm Gita from My Style with K, uh, and today's video uh, is going to be crate training on puppies, as I mentioned in my previous video, which is traveling with your pet by air, boat, or train. Um, so let's just get into it. Okay. Uh, so every puppy uh, needs to learn the skill of resting calmly in a crate. The skill will be needed at the veterinary hospital for traveling and or restricted activity due to illness. And it is also a lifesaver for many young dogs during the destructive chewing stage. It starts at several months old and can last until age two to three years in some breeds. After a dog has become trained and reliable in the house, the crate will often only needed only for certain reasons rather than everyday use. Only critical situation that can call for bringing the, out the crate again is separation anxiety. The ability to relax in a crate can save a dog's life during this crisis. It usually works best to crate the puppy in your bedroom where you were when you were sleeping. If you want the dog to share your bed, wait until adult temperament emerges. Then, if it turns out the temperament is not suited for this privileges, you will not have the difficult job of teaching the dog to stay off the bed. Teaching a puppy to stay off the bed from the beginning is much easier for you both and the pup. Both for you and the pup. Keep the dog on a good schedule of food, water, and outings so the bo puppy's body will have the best chance of making it through the night without a bathroom break. If the pup does need a break, make it very low key with dim lights, soft voices, and no playtime. You completely avoid going to puppy when the pup is making noise. Problems usually pass quickly. The worst thing you can do is let the puppy wilt for a long time and then go to him or her. Doing this teaches the puppy to persistently make noise in the crate. It communicates to the pup that you want to be notified with lots and lots of noise. It also causes the pup enormous stress that becomes a lifelong response to being confined in a crate. Uh, adult dogs in the stress state can break out of crates and badly injure themselves. This is not future you want for you or your puppy. Uh, adult dogs in the stress state can break out of crates and badly injure themselves. This is not future you want for you or your puppy. What you want the p puppy to discover that nothing bad happens from being alone in the crate. You also want the puppy to learn that it's okay to let you to let you of a need, but you will not come in response to loud noise. Check on the puppy after the puppy has become quiet again. If your puppy is not making it through the night without a potty break, schedule it so the puppy does not have to wake you up and ask. Realize, too, that the body's puppy will wake and need to potty whenever someone in the household gets up. That person or someone else will need to give the pup a potty break. Don't trick the puppy about the crate. Give a treat when the pup goes in. Don't be sneakily about shutting the door. Don't put the pup into a crate when the puppy is asleep to wake up trapped in a crate. That can cause the puppy to both to distrust both you and the crate. Be careful not to abuse the crate. When you are at home and awake, supervise the puppy in person rather than using a crate. Puppy seen exercise, mental stimulation, and guidance from you in order to grow up healthy and happy. Too much crate is not humane. Puppies sleep 14 hours a day or so. Ideally, the most scheduled, most the scheduled crate time should be made for sleeping. Make a crate a pleasant place for rest. A few chew toys and a treat can help the puppy relax and drift to dreamland. Everyone in the household can sleep with a crate trained puppy. I hope that gives you guys a little bit of information on how to crate train. Uh, I am not a trainer. This is just information that I have gathered from my vet. Uh, information we hand out to our clients. Um, but I'm not 
a trained trainer. Uh, so if you do have any specific questions on that, you can reach out to a trainer in your area. Um, I, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, and let me know if you guys have any ideas down below. Thanks. Bye, guys.